Hi ladies, hi gents. Um, I want to share a quick video with you today and it's a design team project for Wild Orchid Crafts, the Wild Bunch. I, just, I will pop all the links to the store and um, Facebook group and everything down below in the description box. I will also post um, a list of the products that I used from the store also in the description box. Um, Okay, this project is a little different. I haven't ever done one of these uh, before until recently. I've actually made two. So I've made this one and one for an embellishment swap that I've done. So my uh, project started off as a wooden spoon. <laughs> and um, I painted it all cream. This is actually the back of it. I painted it all cream. Um, and then I covered the whole handle in the seam binding, which is, um, the colour is Cameo Beige. And the seam binding is from Wild Orchid Crafts, and I absolutely love the colour of this. It's so soft and so delicate looking. And the product code for that is MKX474. On the back of the spoon, I had this uh, applique that was just a perfect shape for the back of the spoon. And this is from my stash, so I just, I wanted to finish off the back as nicely as I could, so that's the applique on the back. Okay, let me turn it over. Um, I did actually use one of the appliques on the front, and then I added um, this uh, glue string. Um, <laughs> I added... can't see it, that's it, got it. Uh, this gorgeous lace from my stash and it's a vintage lace and I put that all around the outside of the spoon. Um, I also added uh, little bits of applique poking out here and there around. Then um, I added this clock face charm with the Eiffel Tower Let's see if I can just, there we go. And then I I started to embellish with flowers. Um, so with the flowers I used three of the large um, baby pink wild rosebuds. And I do love these rosebuds, they are so beautiful. And um, the product code for those are MKX102. And what I did is I brushed them with cream paint because I wanted them to look aged. So I used the cream paint rather than gesso. And then all around poking out I've used pale pink uh, hip rose buds and uh, the white pearl stamen. So I've used them there. Excuse me, and I've also used them around this side, just peeping out here and there. And again, I've dabbed them with uh, cream paint because I, I wanted it to look like it had been hanging up for a while and had that, you know, that discoloration, that that aged look like they'd been there for a long time. So for the the pale pink rosebuds, the product code for that uh, is. GST060 and for the the pearl stamen it's MKX470 okay then I used uh, different pink chrysanthemums and a white one uh, there's three different pinks used here and they uh, Wild Orchid Crafts do a set called Mixed Pink and White Chrysanthemums which are these ones here, which are gorgeous. I really love them. And the product code for these is QVR003. And I actually used uh, three of these. I used these three colours here. So this pink, the pale pink, and the white. 
but they also do a set called red, pink and white, which are these ones, which are also gorgeous. And the product code for those is QVR076. But I actually used this pink from this set because it is different. It's a different pink to the others. I'll show you. Let me see if I can show you. If I put three pinks together, you can see they're all different tones of pink. So I used one pink one from this and two from this set. And again, I brushed them with the cream paint to give them that real distressed, old look like they've been on here for a very long time. And I just love how that turned out. And I actually left the leaves on this one because sometimes I take the leaves off, but I wanted that bit of green popping through on this. Then on the handle, I used an applique from my stash. Here. And then again, I used the seam binding to do to make a bow, and I used one of the flat back pearls in rhinestones. Um, I used a pink one, and the product code for that is GST one seven one. And th these are so beautiful, really, really beautiful. And then i just done a loop of seam binding so that it can hang up on the wall. And I'm so thrilled how this turned out. Um, I've only a, so this is the second one I've done. The first one was for, for a, a swap that I was doing. Um, and I, I did enjoy altering the spoon and the swap, so um, I had to do another one. So if you've got any wooden spoons in your, your kitchen, um, perhaps get them out and paint them up and alter them. They make a beautiful project, a really, really beautiful project. So I'm so thrilled how that turned out. And I really hope you'll like it. Um, like I say, I will pop the link down below to the store and I will also note down all the products codes that, um, for the products that I used in this. So thank you for watching and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now.